Neighbors helping neighbors, that is especially important right now as so many are struggling in this pandemic. Jesse Schultz explains how one thriving business in Fairport Harbor is supporting another. Open less than a year, Fairport Harbor Creamery has made quite the name for itself here in this small beach town. We came for lunch because the kids deserve a special treat. The new kids on the block. We make all of the ice cream in-house with a bright future. We've drawn a lot of people in from outside of the community of Fairport. And despite a global pandemic, owner Karen Volzer says they've learned to adapt. Pretty blessed that we're doing we're doing fairly well. But just steps away from this thriving new business, you'll find the old Fairport Harbor Museum and Lighthouse. This lighthouse was built in 1871. A historic staple of the town. There's a lot of history about Lake Erie in a lighthouse. But one with an uncertain future. We lost like um, 57 uh, personal tours already. It didn't open until July 1st, and we usually open in April. And um, also our air conditioner went down just that when we were ready to open. Hearing about her neighbor's slow summer, Volzer wanted to help. We got the idea that why not ask our guests if they would like to help contribute um, by just donating a dollar when they make a purchase at the creamery. It seems to be working. When we bought our ice cream, they asked if we would make a dollar donation, and of course we did. By the end of the summer, Volzer is hoping to get about six grand in donations, enough to cover that air conditioner and what the museum lost when they had to shut their doors. It's very, very important that we help with history and to have it available for future generations. A gesture as sweet as ice cream. That just shows you people will help other people. And that's, I think that's what we need in this world today. The Creamery will be collecting donations for the Lighthouse Museum through Labor Day, but if you can't get out there, you can always donate on the Creamery's website. I've posted a link to that on our News 5 app. For News 5, I'm Jesse Schultz.